the rest of the days I had to go delete a bunch of stuff. Uh, this video of Nolly that was 10 minutes long. Anyway, I didn't tell Summer what happened. I get this email last night from AT&T. Are your bills ready? Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not throwing a party. I go on there. Oh, they've charged me $225 extra for data. I back through the roof. Nobody gets $225. So I call up there and start saying things like, we need to write all this down. Because <laughs> let me just get to the end of the story. Yeah, let me just get to the end of the story. It worked. I'm surprised they're not sending me a gift card. Oh, those charges, they made them go away. You know, they're playing. <laughs> you know, they've got a certain level of hysteria. If they're that hysterical, please just make them go away. <laughs> Whatever you've got to do to buy these people off. <laughs> if 225 bucks is going to get rid of this chick, get rid of her. Oh my gosh. You should uh, Well, it. no, but this is what they yeah, said. This is what they said. Because uh, I said, you know, I, I work in my house. I don't leave my house. I didn't do anything different than I've ever done for the pet. You know, I'm not some goofus that just got a phone. You know, yeah. and it's just out, you know. It's running up my data in the streets. <laughs> well, yeah, I said some, you know, long road trucker or something. Or some, you know, all across the road salesman on him is coming up with, you know. Jesus, I'm I was sorry. practically writing a novel to these people. And I said, you know, I, 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 you know I'm on Wi-Fi. And so he goes, oh, well, if your Wi-Fi goes out. Okay, well, and keep in mind, this is like the third time I've gotten a hold of somebody. And, you know, now, now the phone's going in and out of my, my cell phone. And he's going, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. I go, it's your phone. It's your, it's your service. So then I call me back on my landline and all this stuff. So, oh, yeah, I was blaming them for everything. Oh, no, they just couldn't. Oh, they were just double scrambling. It was code red. It was code red. Get rid of her. Get rid of her. Uh, yeah, oh, no, you know, it was, yeah, oh, no, believe me, they've got the, you know. Oh, they've got that at AT and T. Get rid of them. Get rid whatever it costs. Get rid of them. That's awesome. Um, so, oh yeah, they made it go away. In fact, they made it go away. My bill was only a hundred and ten dollars. I think wow. it, last month it was hundred and forty-five. That's awesome. So yeah, no, they not only made it go away, but but you know, I said you can't do that to people. So they, you know, because they said, well, if you know, if your your house and your Wi-Fi goes out, I said my Wi-Fi, it's your Wi-Fi. Right. I said if my Wi-Fi goes out, I said this has got to be some kind of a scam. You know, now I'm I'm some crazy conspiracy theorist. You know that now thinks you know that they're running some scam to take my Wi-Fi out. You know they got a guy out there at the street. You know, blinking my Wi-Fi out so my data can run up. You know, meanwhile this guy's out there. You know, sipping up Starbucks and everything. Uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, so anyway, bottom line, you know, and do you honestly think if I would have just paid it, you know, but yeah, that's what's happening. The problem is, uh, you know, that one time Bailey pulled the, and I do remember what happened now. Bailey pulled the wire out of the ground. He literally pulled it out of the box, but it didn't, really didn't somehow didn't compromise the integrity of the wire or, oh no, I know what it was. There's just come bury another one. We just didn't want the guy here. So then, uh, let's just go with this story. Remy and Nachos and them got a hold of it and that's when I had to have George tape it back up, remember, and rebury it. <laughs> or no, 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 no. Yeah. He was putting some crazy glue stuff on there, if I had to guess. You know, the glue is systematically burning through the wire, you know, only to leave me cut off from the civilized world. I know, I was watching all these documentaries again. I mean, not that I'm not a grateful person anyway for every single thing I have and just, you know, being able to be free to live the life you want to live. But, I mean, the uh, the way these people live in these second and third world countries, I mean, it's it's agonizing. I can only describe their life as being... Agonizing. Pretty much. Especially the ones where, you know, these Muslim countries, you know, Saudi Arabian stuff where women, I mean, you know, they can't let them drive. I mean, they'll just drive straight to some man's house. I'll tell you what I don't. those women wearing all the wraps and everything, and she pulled her shopping cart out, and she was, like, trying to get it to me. I'm like, you're okay. You can take the shopping cart. She probably feels like she's being looked at. She's going to be extra nice to the Americans or something. I don't know why she was doing it. She just seemed like she had to be over nice, you know. And I was like, hmm, it's all right. Take your shopping cart. Sounds like you were kind of being patronizing. 
Summer's patronizing well, no, to me sometimes. I felt bad. I She's not really like, even sure what that is, but she knows that. Well, I felt bad for her. I felt like she felt like she had to be like well, you nice are to empathetic. Americans. Or something. Well, maybe she wants nice. to be overly nice to young girls. Maybe. Now that I think about it, maybe she was just being nice. I overthought it. Remember the Kelly and Summer characters <laughs> out in public okay. are very yeah. likable. I did have the baby in my hands. So yeah. Maybe she oh, yeah, I had a baby. And I mean, the Summer well, character is even more likable. Really well, that's their choice. I mean, I, I, I don't like ultra-conservative anything. That's, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure if you ask yeah, ultra-conservative, they don't like me at all either. <laughs> They don't like me at all. All these people want to add me as a friend on Facebook. I mean, these guys sure. from these countries. But yeah, I want to say to them, you, you don't want to add me. I'm complicated. I'm high maintenance. I'm, you know, have a very warped sense of loyalty. And if you, you know. Maybe they need that. They don't care. Oh, they don't care. Yeah, okay, they don't care. I think it's from the dogs. I mean. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of a guy's girl, you know. I mean, guys, I've always had a lot of guy friends because of the dog thing. Anyway, we got to go do video. Stacy's like, who cares? Um, what about Remy? I'll tell you how Remy's doing. Remy's doing great. And I'm going to show you, start showing you today what the, um, so you need to just show, uh, we need to just show uh, George, uh, your George, the uh, video of Blue, the Wonder Puppy. I'll change the title. I'll change the title. And, uh, oh, they look just alike. Oh, no, if you needed a body double, I truly believe the universe sent me that dog. Because my heart was so broken over blue, but I don't really let my heart break, so I wasn't really heartbroken because I was just kind of flatlined, but the universe has a way of evening things out, just like on Seinfeld, even Steven. Don't even ask me what this hairstyle is. I've got bangs today. All right, girl, love you lots. We're going to go do videos, and I think you're going to be amazed when I show you what we're doing. Bye, girl.